drama, craziness, Yugi tubers ratting each other out. Gotta love it, guys. And we're gonna talk about it. What's up, you guys? It's Avery here, one to bring you guys a video talking about the drama that has just come up from VCTRFS's YouTube channel. Uh, for those of you who don't know who he is, he's a YouTuber. He's actually been YouTuber for quite some time. I think just about as long as I have, for about five or six years. And uh, come to find out, he actually owns his own OTS store. And basically, long story short, someone ratted him out on his channel. What he was doing from my understanding anyway, after watching his video and Capital G's video, he has a Patreon and all that. I'm trying to pull up his channel right now. Um, he has a Patreon and all that, and what he was doing was, I guess, giving out OTS packs or something to his subscribers, and some another YouTuber ratted him out. And because of that, his uh, store that he owns, which was an OTS store, has now been suspended by Konami for three months. Um, now he's kind of stuck in a position for three months where he can't do sneak peeks or anything like that. Basically, it's just really a bad situation altogether, the fact that a YouTuber snitched on him. And when I saw Randall's video, people were saying it's him. Even one guy said here... Uh, let me guess, it's either House of Champs, Glass Cow, Team Innovation, or SEMO. <laughs> and I'm just like, bruh, like, this this isn't going to help the situation. Uh, Innovation YJ left comment said, I don't know who snitched, but whoever did that was messed up. That's some straight F-boy shit. Uh, even Enich95 left a comment. All these YouTubers are leaving comments basically saying that it wasn't them. Cap G said it wasn't him. I'm here to say it obviously wasn't me. Um, what do I have to gain from my whole 690 subscribers ratting somebody out like it it doesn't matter I'm not gonna be gaining anything from this um, although it did scare me at first <laughs> because the um, the things that uh, VCTRFS was saying in his video sounded a lot like things I said and I'm like oh my god because he was saying like about the person that snitched him out who is apparently another YouTuber he said, you know, uh, you're mad because you can't make this into a business, blah, blah, blah. And I've talked about in the past how I've wanted to make this into a business and it didn't work. And so I was completely scared to death thinking, oh, my God, did, did he like it here? It was the wrong person. And I was like, no, I know what I did. I didn't do anything. So it's fine. But I will admit it scared me for a little bit because I was just like, you know, I don't want to be caught up in some drama I don't even know nothing about. Um but I did leave a comment here about 10 minutes ago, and I just asked him if he would be down for doing an interview um, just to kind of talk about what happened. Um, of course, I'm a very small channel, so he might not even respond. That's fine. Uh, but I just kind of wanted to give my two cents on the whole situation and just kind of say, you know, whoever did snitch on him, I mean, dude, you, you got a sad life, homie. Like, you, you need to do something better with your life, pimp. And uh, to VCTRFS, man... That's messed up, dog. You know, the, the fact that we as a community, whether we're just a player or we're a YouTuber, we need to be able to come together and just be able to enjoy the game. Like, we shouldn't be snitching on each other just because of the fact that someone is bigger than somebody else. Like, that would be like me going to Konami and telling, and telling them what Randall's doing on his channel to have them, like, give him four copyright strikes. Like, that's just not right. Like, that's kind of messing with somebody's business in a way. And it's just, it's not right it's not fun like youtubing is supposed to be fun i mean granted if there's money involved it's i will admit even better because you know who doesn't like money um but at the same time you need to be able to be doing this for the right reasons if you actually want to gain an audience something that i didn't agree with, with um in bctrfs's video is that um he said something along the lines of like you can't trust anybody and um you know uh, Basically, like, every YouTuber out here, oh, I remember what he said, every, basically he was saying that all these other YouTubers, they don't care about you, and this and that, and I'm going to take it from the perspective of, he was just very pissed off, he even said he's very pissed off, so he may have just said some things just to get it off of his chest, um, because obviously not every single YouTuber doesn't care about their subscribers, I know for me personally, I care about my subscribers, I'm sure 
Robbie Cole cares about his subscribers. Randall, Cyber Knight, Simply Unlucky, all of these other people that I can just name off the top of my head. I'm sure that they, to an extent, care about their subscribers. Um, but again, I'm chalking that up to he was pissed off. And it's understandable. Um, but it's it's just messed up. Like, why is it that, especially the people in his comment section are saying, you know, it was either so and so, so and so, or so and so. Um, uh, people are giving him, you know, saying that he's one of the best YouTubers. Uh, I like how it looks like you're looking around for Konami's Hit Squad. Um, so you get caught doing something illegal, but it's the YouTubers' fault, and that just goes to show that someone else is on the other side of the fence. Um, but this person said that they're going to spread the word, ignore the haters, and it was it was funny too because uh, he kept on saying, "I have a rat on my channel. I have a rat on my channel." And I just couldn't help but sit there thinking, "Hmm, maybe it was Zodiac Rat Pierre that ratted him out for his little thing going on." Like I I don't know. Like I said, I don't completely understand what's going on, even though I saw uh, Randall's video and VCTRFS's channel. And why do I look so dark? I don't know. Um. But from what I was able to kind of gather from both videos, it looks like he was doing something with like OTS packs or cracking open OTS boxes, which I guess you're not supposed to do. I don't know. Hopefully, I can be able to get more information for you guys and update you guys. Hopefully, get VCTRFS here on the channel uh, and like host a live stream and kind of just interview him and see what's going on and how we can help out as a community. Because if anything, I think the best way to kind of handle this situation is to kind of move forward and to help out VCTRFS. You know, instead of you know saying, "Oh, it was it was probably this person, probably this person," just move on. Let's come together as a community, the community that we should be, and help him out. But anyway, that's just kind of my two cents. I'm not going to try and call out who I think it is, because I have no idea, <laughs> and uh, I don't feel like calling someone out for someone that might be or may not be completely innocent. Um, VCTRFS knows who it is, and that's all that matters. But if you guys enjoyed this video and want to have updates to this, um, be sure to leave a like. Um, I'm not going to do the notification bay of the day since this is a more uh, serious topic video. I'll save that for a video that I post later today. Um, but if you guys do want to see VCTRFS on the channel, be sure to smash that like button and maybe share it around. Hopefully he'll see it if he hasn't already seen it already. And VCTRFS, if you are somehow, some way, watching this video, just keep grinding, brother. You know, I respect the story that you gave. I've been working since you were a kid. I respect it. Uh, I got respect for you, homie, and... Uh, I wish you the best of luck, brother, and I hope that uh, that rat who's being a rat, um, hope he gets his ass whooped. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching, and subscribe if you have not already.